Hello, welcome to Star Wars Belt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today we're doing another Kenner blog thing. I've got some more stuff, so I thought we'd go through it. I've got some boxes of things. Nothing as big as last time, but a few things, and a special shout out to friend of the show, King Tom, who just messaged me before saying he watched the last video. So now you get the sequel, like, hours later. You don't have to wait around. It's no 16, 17 years of drought, Tom. You get the sequel right after the first. Who knows if it's as good as the original? Probably not. But anyway, we'll have a look. But I've actually got a couple of boxes of things that have come. But first, I'm going to start with this which is something that I was given from friend of the show, Matt Moll from Three Men and a Baby Yoda podcast. We caught up for a drink about a week ago and he was wheeling and dealing me. Um, I think he got the better end of the deal. I did give him a Black Series Slave layer for these. Man, I got a bad deal <laughs> on that, I think. But anyway, um, a few things I didn't have and I was happy to do it because, you know, happy to help a brother out. So I'm just going to show got the bag here of things that have come from him. So I'm just going to start off on the first one. We've got a cloud pilot, cloud car pilot. There he is. I don't know if there's any weapons in here. I'll, they're at the bottom. We'll get them at the bottom. But I'll see if I can get the little camera thing to come on as well. Is it going to work? Oh, yep, there it is. There he is, cloud car pilot. Whoops. He's not too bad, Nick perfectly fine for what we're doing here we'll pop him down there there you go cloud car pilot and there's not too many in here as well we'll just go through the bag there aren't stacks of figures this week so don't get too excited everybody we've got a emperor's royal guard the classic he's got his cloak which seems like it should be a, give, a gimme but a lot of the time especially the older ones cloak is gone which is weird because i think you really gotta like it's stuck on so unless the dog gets at it or something i've seen a bunch of them get around with no gear underneath so a good one to have a classic um always good to have although i was looking for my old palpatine last week and it's another story can't find it might have to get another one which is a bit of a bummer but at least he'll be protected when he turns up so i'll stick him down there and then finally, I can hear a rattling, which makes me think there might be a weapon or two in here somewhere. But I'll just move the, the bag. And keep, you know, a little bit of tissue paper wrapped. Good taking care of stuff there, Matt. We've got a classic Gammy, a Gamorrean guard. Here he is. He's looking like he's in pretty good condition, actually. I'm not really seeing much wear at all. So happy to have that. Yeah, the butt looks good. Well, took us, as they say. Looks like a pretty nice condition one. So happy to have that. You can tick them off the list. I was going to try and figure... I've got the graphic for the list. Um, I was going to try and figure out how to get that to come over here, but we'll, we'll worry about that later on. It's too technical right now. I'm just going to worry about getting this to work. Uh, so we'll pop him down there. So three good figures. And what was the rest on the bottom of this? Oh, it's... One foot stand. Thanks, Matt. I can use that. Going to need a lot more, but anyway. Put that down there with the other ones. So, not too many other figures to go here. This isn't going to be as long a video as the last one. There isn't some massive haul box thing. So just chill out. But some interesting figures coming up. So we'll um, what I'll do is I'll clear the decks of those guys. I'll put them over to the side. And then we've got this box that I got delivered uh, yesterday. So this is from a Facebook group purchase that I made. The um, sticker is obviously over my address, so people don't show up at my front door, but who's really doing that? But you never know. Maybe one day it'll go viral and then some disgruntled people will come to the door. So I'm just gonna open this live now. So you have to just bear with me for a second, but uh, I should try and do this so I can actually keep the box in workable condition really this isn't exactly a very interesting box opening video but let's see if i can just get that and that's the thing about when you buy things from other collectors the good ones they really know how to pack a box securely so 
it does mean that there's going to be... That's not too bad. Got that open up. All right. And then we've got this. Ooh, what is it? Is there some gold in here? There is some gold. It's um, pretty, I'd say, low, low condition gold. So, however, people will probably laugh at me for this. Oh, it's even got my name on the bag. Isn't that nice? So I'm just going to do these. Are these all done individually? Yep. They're not an amazing nick, but I didn't pay that much for these, relatively speaking. So I was quite happy to get them in the lower condition and worry about stuff later on. But starting off, we've got Han Solo in carbonite. Not in carbonite. Out of Currently out of carbonite, but uh, no carbonite. Just Han. But for what I paid for it, I'm not dropping the prices of everything. If you really, really want to know, send me a message. I might even answer in the comments or something. Or follow me on Twitter and I'll tell you what I paid. But it was sort of below market because the condition's not great. But there he is. He's actually oh, he's still in a little bag. He's got a little bit of discoloring around the vest and stuff. I remember my neighbor across the road had this and he had the carbonite. So I'll be able to get the carbonite from somewhere, I'm sure, eventually. But I just wanted to get it because the price was really good. So another last 17 crossed off. So a Han in Carbonite. So he's in his little bag, but I'll put him on there. You'll probably see a theme here um, emerging on these figures, which the next one is, people are gonna laugh when they get to the, I can just, I'm looking at the last one I'm gonna show. And I'm sure I'm gonna get laughed at for, 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 for buying it. But anyway, I don't really care. Um, this guy's seen some action as well, but it's a Luke Stormtrooper. Another last 17. Now the helmet I was told up front is a repro. It's not genuine. And I'm not going for repro stuff particularly. I probably would have had it without it. But the guy chucked it in. Whatever. It's nice to have. It looks good. He's seen some action as well, Luke. He's actually looking yeah, he's not looking amazing. His um you know, his face is pretty look, can I get that? There we go. His face is looking pretty bland. He's lost a lot of colouring and stuff. But again, Relatively speaking, he was cheap. He wasn't cheap, but relatively speaking, he was pretty cheap. Um, I possibly have a line on a better quality one for around the same price. Maybe I might get it, maybe, and then sell this one for what I paid for it, which I'm happy to do, which I'll definitely get back. So I may do that. But to be honest, at the moment, ticking them off, happy to get it. Again, can you see the theme here? <laughs> Hard to find figures, poor quality, don't cost much money but good to get him to get the collection. And if I turn to a crazy train spotter later on and have to get amazing stuff, maybe I'll look into it. But I've got a feeling when I'm just sort of sitting over in here and I'm looking over at the collection, that will be kind of on that um, wall that you can kind of see over there. I'll be able to look at them from here and go, mm, yep, very happy with that. I don't think I'm going to be like going like this the whole time worrying about the, the quality, but let's put Luke there. Now, the next one, I'm going to get the pronunciation wrong, which probably gives you a good idea of what it is. It's another last 17. It's an Amana Man. There he is in all his glory. And you may notice he ain't got no arm. He's missing an arm. In fact, I do have the arm. The arm is included, but it is going to have to be attached. So it looks like that the joint has just broken off on there. You can't quite see. Can you see that? Maybe I should probably, I could probably just take it out. To be honest, doesn't really matter. They're going to come out anyway. But yeah, you can see that the, he's lost the little, lost the little ball there on the arm. Does that work if I do it under there? Yep, kind of. Um, so I'll probably just blue tack it on. I don't think I'll glue it. As a kid who had a glued on Han Solo head on his thing and he was just sort of stuck there. I think I'll just, yep. Blue tack it on, as long as he stands, doesn't really matter. I'm quite happy with that. Again, no staff or whatever comes with it, but it was, um, oh, rattles. Hmm, that's weird. That's probably, it's probably that bit in there. I wonder if I can get that out. Hmm, because if that's the peg, if that's the peg and it's just in there, I might just try and get it and glue it back on. Hmm, all right. Might be a project. Might be, uh, watch this space. 
I'm going to put him on there. So again, you can see the theme that's coming through here. Hard to find expensive figures, low quality, cheaper price. Um, I got a little bit overly excited and bought these on a Facebook group, but it was good. Facebook groups are good places to find this stuff because nine times out of 10, the sellers are known and you've got less chance of getting ripped off if you're just sending money to some rando through Facebook. Unless, of course, you, you, know, you know how to do stuff in person and do all that kind of thing. But if you are going to get stuff posted, Seller groups are quite good because usually they're vouched for and they sell people sell a lot of stuff. Pretty good, easy to keep track of stuff. Um, not a perfect guarantee, but you know, better. And then the final thing that's come through, oops, chuck him on there, whatever. Now these aren't actually figures, and I don't have an exact sure what I'm gonna get, but friend of the show, Peter Hodgton, who watched the last video, who's been a fan of the podcast for ages. I've met oh, sorry, not Peter, his brother Steve. Sorry. Sorry, Steve. Peter, who's been on the show, his brother Steve, who I've met a bunch of times as well, big Star Wars guy, lovely bloke, um, just messaged me out of the blue and said, hey, I've got this stuff that I got from an op shop um, that's left over. Would you just like to have them? Um, and I said, sure, that would be awesome. And he got some amazing op shop haul with all this vintage stuff because he's got a connect in there. And I mean, that's a YouTube video in itself. I think you should just do that yourself. Get a get a rival channel going, Steve, and get you, show your video because you get some amazing cool stuff. And that's your story to tell. But again, there was some stuff here that he just had access. He, he said that I could have, and I thought I'm not going to say no to free stuff. And um, so he, this arrived this morning. I haven't opened it. Don't I? I know what's in it, kind of, but I haven't seen it yet. So I thought I'd just do it here while we're um, while we're recording. And I just thought that would just be really cool to have. So let's have a look. Again, people just know how to wrap stuff. A box, bubble wraps. So it is, look, let's just get those out of there. Some OG, let's just see what we've got here first. Card backs. Look at that. Unpunched. A nine num. And I've got a nine num. Just over there, I could, uh... whoa, uh. there you go, whoop, reunited and it feels so good, uh, yeah, so a genuine card back, in fact, I think this 9 num, if this is my original one, which I think it is, I think he was a post away, so he wouldn't have had a card back. So he's getting closer to a thing that he never had. So isn't that awesome? So they'll just be, I'll just put them up behind the collection, I think. They'll just be displayed. So I've got nine num, which is there. Where did I put the other ones? Oh, they're just there. Let's pop that. I don't know if that's really going to work, but anyway, we'll pop it there for now. And there's another one here as well. Now you're talking. Now you are talking. Look at that. My favorite, the Luke Jedi, the one I never had growing up, the one that my mum bought for a birthday present for a friend, it sat on our mantelpiece waiting for the party. And I got to just look at it going, wouldn't that be great to have one? Now I do actually have, which I'll get. It's the only thing on card vintage I've got on card. So I do have one of these. I have an original Luke on card in a case. It's never been opened. But to have this is awesome. I'm very tempted just to put the Luke that I do have my loose Luke and put it in there because it's in pretty good nick. You could slide back into the bottom of the bubble. But how cool is that? And it was, I think it was from Toy World. I can't quite see. There's no price. It's lost the price on there. But oh man, I wanted this so badly <laughs> when I was growing up so badly I had to wait till my 40s to get it and that's what this is all about this is what this collecting is all about really but um, yeah so that's it on those I've got another order coming through in a week or two so there'll be another video I've managed to oh hang on I've forgotten there's one more left I didn't even see that sorry a rebel commando double bonus another Jedi 77 back, I think it is. 65 back. 
Again, the terminology, I'm not 100% sure, but he got all these at an op shop thing. What are the chances? Who does that? Who are these people who find get these fines? So brilliant. Thank you, Steve. Absolute legend. These are going to look great when I get all this sorted out. So, yep, I've got another order coming soon. I'm not sure. Next couple of weeks, so I'll do another video then. The, um, can I put that around there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. And we'll do another video. And there's a couple of thing, items I've got from mum and dad's, a couple of stragglers that I'll show as well, which I'll probably do with the ones that I already had beforehand. And we'll just keep plugging away. And, uh, yeah, so thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, listen to the podcast if you haven't. Star Wars spelt out. You can go to starwarsspellout.com, see that all there. Uh, hopefully getting an episode up this week. Maybe something I've got something a little unorthodox. I'm hoping I can get the people I want on there. So we'll just see how that goes. But again, thanks. Leave a comment. If you've got any questions, drop us a line on Twitter. All that stuff. See you soon.